Hi, my name is Leandra Bowen and I am running for council because I'm passionate about community safety. I have a background in crime prevention and I'm advanced in crime prevention through environmental design. I really want to bring these skills um, to Rotorua. My father was born and raised in Rotorua and I really I love the, the people in Rotorua and I want to make sure that um, people want to come to the city and that the city grows and I think I've got a lot to offer the community in terms of crime prevention and I'm really good with consultation as well. Uh, when I was crime prevention coordinator at Tauranga, Mount Manganui, uh, one of my key roles was to ensure that um, consultation around tables um, was adhered to. Uh, for example, there was a, or is a big problem with methamphetamine and um, I got together an umbrella group with police, iwi, um, housing New Zealand. So it's getting the right people around the, the table and I'm very good at that and I think I'd be an asset to the council and the people. Right so crime prevention is a big factor around yes. safety. How do you see that contributing to economic growth and prosperity? Um, I think it's about um, people, like when I'm out of Rotorua and I'm in Auckland, say I'm visiting Auckland because we go there on business quite a bit and we hear people say, oh you live in Rotorua, oh. you know, and, and I think that by promoting crime prevention and making the community feel safe and when people visit the town they have that sense of safety and that can be from, um, for example, because um, crime prevention comes in many forms, it can be going to the Wairiki Polytech and saying to people that do carvings and artwork, saying let's put that around town so that when people come into this city they don't just see flowers everywhere, <laughs> they see you know, a sense of culture because um, culture in itself um, as a form of crime prevention. Um, so, yeah. It almost goes that's, beyond crime and it does. into wider public it safety does. and comfort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Public, yeah, crime prevention is, a, 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 is part of um, every aspect. It's in business, you know, it's ensuring people are safe in business and it is part of culture. And From a business point of view, is there more the council can do to promote? Uh, business growth and therefore job growth? Um, I, think so. I think it's about attracting the right sort of businesses and, and supporting your local um, businesses. Um, it's, it's, there's this obviously big att attention on the CBD. And I, think it, I think the CBD does need to be looked at at the moment. It's, it's, to me it's spanned out all over the place. Um, so they need, if they get that right and get the right business, attract the right businesses in there, I think it can grow. You'd, do look around at all the shops and that are closing down and it is frightening. But I think that we need to be able to look at the CBD and um, look at how we can set that up so people come into the city and they they shop. It would be nice to be able to have a CBD um, that you can browse through and that you've got the right mix of businesses, you've got people wanting to come in and shop and you know you've got um, businesses that are be able to be sustainable. Youth employment. We've mm. heard concerns in our lead up interviews mm. uh, about the need to do something about youth employment. Is, is that a council role? I think council can contribute to it. Um, I think believe that it comes down to back to the good old fashioned consultation with the youth. Um, I think it's about getting the right people around the table and finding out what, what they want to do. Um, you look at unemployment and youth and they sit there and loiter around the CBD and everyone sort of sits here up in arms going, oh the youth are such rat bags, but has anyone actually stopped down and to sit down with them and say, well, you know, what do you want to do? Um, and getting them employed could be form part of their recreation as well. It's getting them interested 